Anyway, Mike here. Um, I didn't see you on the call. Sorry, I was a couple minutes late there, but um, I figured I would just make a video for you and kind of cover what we were going to go through. And then feel free to hit me back with any questions or anything that I missed. So we have one sheet now, right? That's a pretty big update. Uh, or one tab at least. We also have new types here. So I removed deals from the type column here because this is the relationship with the account, right? So I think the best way to do this is customer prospect is everybody that you want to sell stuff to, but have not. Customer is you got to close one deal. Obviously the deal falls in between there. Then we have, and I'm curious your thoughts on this as well. We have partner, right? Which is a pretty traditional partnership, but you guys are going to be very, um, you know, tech heavy here on the integration partner side. I don't know if you want to treat these differently, um, like the two different types of relationships. So please let me know. I did separate them out. And then we also have an other. Saw that you had a, a Google person on here um, without much context. And I figured she probably didn't fall. She? Yeah. Didn't fall into one of these categories. So that's how I did it. Uh, in addition to that, this is all pretty self-explanatory. If you ever go to another conference or if you do a lead sourcing uh, exercise or anything like that, right, you can use this template, right? All you have to do is come in here, hit download, go to CSV. Then let's go over to HubSpot. I'm going to undo this so we can redo it. Okay, start an import. Import from computer. Next, uh, we're going to do one file with multiple objects. Now, why is that? It's because we're bringing in a lot of information here. And if there's information that is only on the company level, even if it's in our CSV and we import as contacts, we're gonna lose that information, right? So we do wanna capture a lot of this. Deals, I left out, we're gonna do those last. But remember, we did account for all of the deals becoming customer prospects in, in the sheet as well. Emails, I want you to leave blank here. This should be automated through the HubSpot um, whatever they call it. I, it's not Salesforce inbox. Uh, I don't think it's HubSpot inbox, but anyway, the email tracking should be through a plugin up here. If you don't have that, please let me know. I think I sent it over to you last week. Okay, cool. So drag and drop the doc, right? I picked what I wanted to bring in. I have companies that are ready to import. I got some errors on the contact side. So are these real errors? No, they are not. They like record ID because they're stubborn and they want to create their, um, you know, it's a little bit of a, stickiness thing, I, I think. But um, anyway, we have to just go through each of these columns. Shouldn't take long. So type customer prospect. I think we beat that one into the ground, right? So this is going to be on the company level, obviously. Right? And then this is going to be the life cycle stage. Apologies. That's very wrong and early on for it to be very wrong. Uh, <laughs> it is... Um, <laughs> wow, that's not a great start. Okay, type. Obviously, we just talked about it. Email sent. This is a text field. Last touch is going to also be a text field. Okay, so contact activity date. This is what this is how we make this work, right? This is how we get the real data from our last activities to start flowing in. Um, so this is a very important piece. Contact properties, every last touch we have with the customer should be this field right here, date. It's a custom one, right? So it looks a little funky. Um, let me know if you'd like it renamed, but um, status. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit about the individual person in our back and forth with them, right? So we're gonna use membership notes here. Um, this is going to be, um, the name. I think we know the name. Okay. So we have contact properties. We have, and then we have contact properties and we have last name. Cool. Um, this field next to last name is a blank one. I just left that for a little bit of space. Very good. Um, moving along company, obviously. So, company properties, right? So one thing I would say here Rod, is if you're doing these and bringing in lists of people, always give this column, the middle one, an extra good look, okay? Because this is the one where you can assign 
a company name to a prospect name, and then your life is going to be very, very annoying. Um, okay. So moving on there, we have a couple other fields. So company properties, we have the domain. This I had to run through a data scraper based on the list that you gave me. If you'd like instructions on that, I'm happy to send that over as well. Um, contact properties, we have the emails, very straightforward. Phone number, good. Monthly tickets, this is on the account level, which is great. Um, now, the source, I'd like to talk to you guys about this, but um, this just needs to be standardized, okay? Like, it's it's fine to have individuals on the source, um, you know, in the sourcing field, but it just can't be individuals and companies. Your data will not um, cooperate. So we're going to do source here, contact info. Good. We already did that. So subsource, this is going to be, this one's called sourcing info. Very cool. Closing chance. So this was a, there was a probability field um, in the Google sheet uh, that was sent over. These companies don't have deals open, so I cannot assign a probability to a deal. So what I did was I just created a field. Um, uh, confidence in future deal. Okay. So I personally think that this probably goes because I think that data is probably written in there a bit ago, but we do have the capabilities for it. Okay. So notes, we have note properties and then we have the note body. Okay, this is an important one, actually, because what it'll try to do is get you to go to contact properties and then do note. Notes. All right. Regardless. Um, so note properties, and then instead of doing activity date or assign to date, it's going to be note body. Okay, monthly tickets. This one we already have covered up here. That's a duplicate. It's on me. We're just not going to import it. Okay, cool. Um, monthly emails. This one we do want to map. Stage. Stage is blank. We're going to leave it that way. And then we have our phone. And then I don't want to import the unmapped data. Okay, cool. So I agree that everybody's hearing from me. Yes, cool, cool, cool. All right, so all of those contacts and all those companies are on the way in now. Now, this is going to take just a little bit to update, right? What we should, should start seeing here, apologies there, um, is these logos to become more frequent, right? So when we're able to match and confirm based on the... Um, email, I mean, sorry, the company domain. Okay. So in terms of what comes next here for you guys, you do have everything in Salesforce minus the deals, which we're going to do now. Okay. Oh, a little error there. Check that out. Um, all right, cool. Thank you, everybody.